Hi, welcome back. This is the first time in this lecture series that we are going to discuss a problem on linear seating arrangement. Though these problems are generally easier than circular seating arrangement problems, you need to be careful with the directions given in the question. The given conditions and their language at times are capable of causing some confusion in your mind as far as the orientation of objects is concerned. So let's take one such problem here and try and understand the concept through that problem only. The question here mentions eight individuals who are part of an Indo-Australian cricket committee. These eight persons are sitting in a row, all facing the same direction, that's north. Four of the committee members are Australians and the rest four are Indians. We are told that there are three secretaries, two joint secretaries, two vice presidents and a president in the committee. Now with the help of the eight statements given in the question, we need to find out the nationalities and the posts of all these eight individuals. Now you should pause the video here for some time. Attempt the question on your own first and go to the solution only after you are done doing the question on your own. Let's proceed with the solution of the problem now. We are told that these eight individuals starting from James are sitting from left to right, all facing north. So let's put them in an arrangement like this. You can see here that James is at the extreme left of the screen, whereas Rohit is at the extreme right. North should always be taken as the upward direction in all these questions as is shown in the figure. Just try and visualize yourself in place of Nathan for a moment. If you're facing north in the direction of this arrow, Roger would be on your left and Brendan would be on your right. Just put yourself there and imagine. Once you understand this, this kind of a setup is not going to bother you anymore. Please remember that all these directions are very important. James is on the extreme left. Peter is to his right. Roger is to the right of Peter. Nathan is to the right of Roger. But all this is true only when all of them are facing the north direction. If the direction reverses, this arrangement changes accordingly. So let's go to the statements now and start filling up this table. Statement 3 is very simple. It tells us that James is not Indian. This is the cell corresponding to the nationality of James. So let's write Australian here. We already know that four of the committee members are Indians. Now statement 2 says that no two Indians are sitting next to each other. So the four Indians should be sitting in a manner like this. And these places here have to be filled by three Australians. So let's put them there. Now if you look at the table, the only place where these seven individuals can be fitted is this. So that's a concrete arrangement which tells us the nationalities of all eight individuals. Now let's try and figure out the posts of the eight individuals. We know that there are three secretaries, two joint secretaries, two vice presidents and a president there. Statement 8 tells us that exactly two secretaries are Indian. This is the box corresponding to the three secretaries. We know that two are Indian and one Australian. So let's write it here. Now statement 6 tells us that one vice president and one joint secretary are Australian and obviously then one each would be Indian. So let's put this information here in these two boxes. Now the nationality of the president is left. We can clearly see from the upper three boxes that the eighth individual left has to be an Australian. So the president has to be an Australian. Let's write it here. So now we have got all this information in front of us. Statement 1 tells us that each secretary and the president always sit next to at least one joint secretary. We can see from this box here that there are three secretaries and a president. So these are four people in all and there are just two joint secretaries. It means that the only way that these six individuals can be arranged would be something like this. So one joint secretary would be surrounded by two secretaries and the other joint secretary would have the president on one side and one secretary on the other side. Let's just keep it like that and look at statement 5 now. It tells us that the Indian vice president sits to the immediate right of the Australian vice president. So they are sitting next to each other. There are four positions here in which these two guys can sit. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's try putting them there and see what works for us. Let's put them here first in the first position. So James becomes the Australian Vice President and Peter becomes the Indian Vice President. But statement 5 also tells us 
that the Australian Vice President is not sitting at any of the ends of the structure and James is at the extreme left end so this is not possible. So we are left with just three positions to try now. Let's put the two in the second position now. So Roger is the Australian VP now and Nathan is the Indian VP. Now look at the two blocks that we created earlier. These two blocks also need to be adjusted in the table. Now this right one can be fitted into this part. But if you look at the left one, there's not enough space in the table to fit this one. There are just two vacant spaces and this is a block of three people. So it cannot be adjusted here. It means that our assumption was incorrect. The two vice presidents cannot be fitted here. So we are left with just two positions now. Let's put them here. Now let's go back to the earlier two blocks. The left one can fit here. But look at the right one. It again encounters the similar problem. A block of three people and just two vacant places. So it cannot be fitted here. It means that again our assumption was incorrect and the two vice presidents could not be put here. So we have ruled out three positions for the VPs. It means that they have to occupy these last two cells only. Now this is a concrete arrangement and we need to fit the two blocks of three people each that's there on the bottom of the screen. Let's try arranging them like this. We already know that the president of this committee is Australian. But look at these two cells. The structure tells us that the president is either Nathan or Ricky, both of whom are Indians. So this is not possible. It again means that our initial assumption was incorrect. So this setup is not possible. So let's try putting up these two blocks in the table in this manner. Since we ruled out the earlier possibility, this has to work. So this is a concrete structure now. It doesn't violate any condition. Look at statement 7 now. It tells us that no two secretaries are sitting next to each other. But look at Roger and Nathan. If Roger is a secretary, then it violates the condition given in statement 7. So Roger cannot be a secretary, he has to be the president. And consequently, James cannot be the president, he has to be a secretary. So let's write it like this. This completes our arrangement and with this we have solved the problem. This is how we solve linear seating arrangement problems with a single row. Just be careful with the directions, left, right, north, south and you will sail through. When in doubt, just imagine putting yourself in place of a person mentioned in the problem and you would be able to visualize the setup quite easily. Our next problem would again be based on linear seating arrangement but with two rows which makes it slightly more complicated. I'll see you soon. Goodbye until then.